claim whether they were lost or if they won it would have been getting better by us and if they lost it would have been uh, walked away by cast so cast got the gig and that was a lot of money I guess yeah yeah well it cost me my pride <laughs> to do a gig. Yeah, very soon. Yeah. And then I'm going to get really drunk. Jolly good. <laughs> no, we're doing, we're, it's quite nice really, it's quite relaxed. We're doing, uh, basically we're out writing songs, but we're doing a lot of one-off little things, like for example, the Radio 1 Roadshow, uh, Big Breakfast Roadshow, so it's just a way for a day, do that, come back and come back. We've got written a few good tunes. So you're not going to call back, and I'm <laughs> just getting really, really famous, what's the most peculiar thing about well, it's really funny, all that, what you just said is really funny, because uh, I think it's one of those weird things where we don't really get written about that much, but we're quite well known, it's like we're not really on the side of press and stuff, they don't seem to think we're quite that good, but we've got quite a really big fan base, so I've learned to like, build up and it's been a really natural, steady thing, so it's not as if it's happened like that, so it makes it a lot easier to understand and control, really, I think. If we did have a road to success dead quick, then I think they would just split us up because it's too much. You've just been doing this for so long, so I need you that you're going to be more than when you get one of the famous guests, one of these big as well, that kind of thing. You've been doing it for a sort of a day, you know, get your friends. We've done tons of stuff like this. It's just nice to meet people and say, oh, the only thing is, I start to hate my name because I'm out that much. I mean, I have to get in some practice with my hand before I go and do it. So. Yeah. Hello, I'm Rick from Shed 7 and you're watching The Biz. 